Good morning, everybody. I'm here in the beautiful city of Long Beach. On the lovers of the bar is where I go Me and my friends at the table Doing shots, drinking fast And then we talk slow Come over and start up a conversation With just me and trust me I'll give it a chance Now I'll take my hand Stop it and the man on the jukebox And then we start to dance And now I'm singing like Girl, you know I want your love Your love was handmade for somebody like me Well, come on now, follow my lead I may be crazy, don't mind me Hey boy, let's not talk Good morning everybody. I'm here in the beautiful city of Long Beach. Um, I'm currently waiting for my, I guess, a little van that's picking me up because it's gonna take me to uh, the rental car place. So I'm just chilling here, enjoying the weather. It's super nice right now in Long Beach. Um, it is currently 68 degrees in Long Beach. Super sunny, uh, super warm. Nice breeze. Good morning, everybody. I apologize that I did not get any stupid B-roll yesterday or I didn't even get to record a lot of the stuff that I was doing yesterday. That's because a lot of the stuff I was doing was paperwork and was driving and driving in an area that is not familiar to me. I kind of I kind of want to focus on finding the directions and following the directions and the traffic around me because uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with the place. The reason why I went down to Long Beach is because I drove up to sign the lease to the apartment that I'm going to be staying at for the next 12 months. Feel free to come down and room with me if you want because rent down here is expensive as f I'm just going to be down here for the next year driving for Lyft and Uber for now. I don't want to do it for the whole year. I want to do it as a transition um, while I look for another job. Anything in media or anything in the entertainment industry is what I'm here for. Right now, it doesn't feel like home. Um, I've had bad anxiety for the last three days. The night before I flew down here, I couldn't sleep for two and a half hours um, because I was psyching myself out I was thinking of the worst possible scenarios living down here. I was thinking to myself, how am I going to afford it? How, what if I don't afford it? What if I can't afford it? What if, you know, I fail down here? What all the bad things just making me feel so anxious, so nervous and just, you know, almost second guessing my decisions to do this. Yeah, I almost didn't want to do this. There's I was this close to not following through but with the help and support of my parents Kathy some of my friends that I've been talking to about this move um, they're totally for it they totally support me they totally believe that I'll be able to do this so that really helped a lot there's always this part of me that's kind of like you know the realistic side of me and then like Casey Neistat there's this realistic side of you and there's this dream side of you and there's always this the realistic side always kind of pops out of nowhere and just like yeah. Oh, Adam, you can't do this. Oh, you're gonna have a hard time. But then, you know, I try to push that back. And I just, the reassurance from my friends and my family and Kathy helps push that back. It just helped me fo helps me focus. When I first walked in, it smelled like a hotel. It smelled good, but like a hotel room good. So I, I and I don't have any furniture in here yet besides like two chairs that I got from Ikea. It doesn't feel like home yet. So once I have more things in here and once I actually stay here for more nights, I hope that it'll feel like home. But for now, it's just a new, like, I'm excited, don't get me wrong, I'm excited and thankful that I'm, that I'm gonna do this and that I have help doing this. But right now, it just doesn't feel like home. It feels like I'm just visiting this apartment unit. So I hope, you know, that as the weeks come and as the months come that I get this homey feeling going here. Back to what I'm doing today. I'm gonna go down to LA, leave early, and try to find a good spot to eat. I have to return the rent car at like 1.30. Hopefully that'll give me enough time to get to uh, Long Beach Airport. Oh God, I probably should stop talking now then. So I made it here to Hollywood, I believe, to eat 
brunch. I'm trying this place called Bolt. I think they have like breakfast burritos and stuff like that. It looked good on Yelp, so I'm gonna go try it out. I got a bolt bowl and a cold brew coffee. I'll show you what it looks like. That's the bolt bowl. It's got um, sausage, egg, broccoli, uh, tomatoes, and other goodies. And it's really good. If you guys are ever in the Hollywood area and you're looking for a place for breakfast, go check out Bolt. I'll put <laughs> I'll put the uh, link down below to their Yelp or something. Now I'm making my way back to the rent a car because I have to go to Long Beach, and uh, Long Beach is like an hour's drive right now. I wanted to go sightseeing in Long Beach, but. I don't know if I'll make it back in time to return the car. My flight is in until 3.45. I'm sitting out here because the weather is really nice. Got a Moscow mule from 4th Street Vine. And I'm FaceTiming Kathy right now. Hi, Kathy. You can't hear her, but... Because she's on my, head, uh, my earphones right now. Um, yeah, so... Enjoying the view right over here. While I wait for my flight. I'm trying to get my battery to die. Every day, the summer and something brand new. I'm in love, the shape of it, the shape of it. So good, so good. Yeah, yeah, nobody good, me swear to God, you know me now. Like, thinking about the shape in every way, girl, you know now. 